What's up YouTube, I'm J-Rod of Battle Brawl Production and today I'm going to show you how I made my ultimate watercolor set. Now, if you've been watching the vlogs or been paying attention to some of the videos I've been making, I'm really enjoying getting into the art of watercolor. I've even come to the conclusion, and due to the research and talking with other artists in my field, that if you're an inker, you will become a watercolor artist. They're sister mediums, and it's a fun and relaxing hobby. It's one of my favorite art mediums to explore now, and I've incorporated into my mixed media style. I pencil everything, ink it to solidify the art, and for coloring, I use watercolor, alcohol markers, a little bit of acrylics, and a little bit of colored pencils, and I love the results I'm getting. They're incredibly fun easy to get into and again it's just a fun and relaxing process now I will admit my journey starting with watercolors is quite fascinating I had to do them in college and while I did enjoy it it definitely is something that I really am enjoying now the more that I'm exploring my artistic mediums and developing my style my journey at least taking watercolor seriously really started with a small little 12 set by Koi I really like these sets and I recommend them to anyone who wants to get into watercolor just to try it out and see if it's a medium for them afterwards definitely upgrade to some big boy watercolors. So I upgraded to the Winsor Newton Cotman 24 set. I absolutely love it and just to round out everything I picked up a small little skin tone set. That was all I needed and I felt like I had all the colors I needed to make art. However, shortly after purchasing everything, I found a deal that I just could not pass up. On clearance at a Ross, randomly in Virginia, I found the 46 count Winsor Newton set. This is the largest half hand set they make and it was under $45. This set normally sells for $70 so I had to get it. And it didn't stop there. During the making of this video, I actually picked up two new sets, a 6 count metallic set and a 12 count metallic set by Van Gogh. Yeah, they're not in the B footage and I still have way too many watercolor sets and it's kind of irritating. It's hard to store them all, it's hard to actually use them all, mainly because they're eating up so much space on my desk. I feel like I'm really struggling and trying to keep things organized. It's messing with my workflow and if you know me, that's one thing that's really important is getting a good solid workflow. So I I decided to go on this journey to figure out how to streamline it and make the ultimate watercolor set. Everything that I need in one easy tint. And I'm going to show you how I did it. Now all the products that I'm going to list are products that I bought and ended up using for this project and I did not plan this project out starting from the beginning. I just bought watercolor sets and eventually involved into this. So this is not going to be the most cost effective way to do this. So please feel free to substitute and switch out things that would work better for you. That being brands, that being sets, and that being what works in your budget. This is just how it ended up for me and why I really like this watercolor set because it incorporates everything that I have. The first piece you're going to need, and in my opinion, is going to be the foundation and the basis for your set, is going to be the Winsor Newton Cotman Watercolor Studio Series 46 Half Pound Set. Now, this set normally retails for $70 to $80, depending on where you go. I got lucky and picked mine up for $45. This is an amazing set. It's all of Winsor Newton's half pound sets. Now, it is the Cotman Series, which is the student grade. As someone who has used both, I can definitely say that they're almost exactly the same. The student grade definitely does have a little bit, little bit bit less pigment and a much worse light fastness. Now that's just how long the paints will last in the long run. They're going to last probably about 10 years less than the professional series. But with the cost you're getting, they're still incredibly high quality, phenomenal to use, and I recommend going the Cotman series to save money. The next piece I use, and is probably the most unneeded piece in this set to be completely honest, is going to be the Winsor Newton Cotman Watercolor Series Plus Set 24 Half Pants. And this set retails for $25. This is completely unneeded. I'm including it because I already had it and I ended up using it to double up on all the colors that I commonly use. All of the half pan colors that are in the 24 set is going to be in the 46 set, so that's why it's not super needed. I ended up using it because there are certain colors that I really like to use, very specific greens, very specific yellows, very specific reds, very specific blues, and for me, I felt like it was nice to just double up on it going into the set already. So, not 100% needed, but it's something I included. The next set, and the one that I personally think is one of the most underrated sets out there, is the Simi Art Watercolor Paint Set 12 set skin tone set for adults. This is an all-in-one skin tone set. With everything in here, you have the skin tones to work for. You don't have to mix them. I absolutely love this set. It sells for $10 on Amazon. Do yourself a favor, pick it up if you haven't gotten the chance to because I absolutely love it. Super high quality and the colors are already mixed for you. I struggle to mix skin tones, so it's a good help for me. Now, if you already have a skin tone that you really like to use, feel free to put it in here. And fun fact, even if you have a skin tone set that you really like and it's a tube, you can actually convert your tubes into half pans. 
so just do that and you'll have your skin tones. Next is going to be the Psy Art Supplies Handmade Watercolor Paint Set 6 Metallic Color Set. I absolutely love this set. It's $12, super high quality metallics, absolutely amazing. If you like using metallics, get these, really affordable, and I picked them up on Amazon for dirt cheap. Now, if you don't like using metallic sets, you don't need this, but I do, and I ended up incorporating them into my set. So this next one is something that is not needed, but I definitely recommend it, and that is getting an extra brush. Now, both Winsor Newton sets will come with a round three. It's my favorite brush size to use, so I decided to get an extra brush size for this set, and that was a Kalinske Mimic round five. Normally, I go with a round six, but when I was making this video, the store only had a round five, so why not? I like them. They're super high quality. I would definitely say the Kalinske Mimics are the next step up from the Winsor Newton Cotman's, but definitely a huge step down from the Winsor Newton Series 7. All about affordability, what works for you. I recommend just putting another brush in this set so you have a few other options. And I picked up this brush for 16 bucks. Again, feel free to substitute for any brush that fits you, both for your budget and personal preference. And the last thing you're going to need for this project, and what is really the MVP in getting this project done, is the My Art Tool Empty Watercolor Palette Tin Set 48 Half Pan DIY Watercolor Travel Palette. You could tell I bought this from Amazon, can't you? It cost me $12 and it's the largest empty half pan set I could find. Do make a 12 and a 24 one, so if you want to go smaller, feel free to do so. If you want to go bigger, unfortunately you may have to pick up a separate one and just have two. Perfectly fine, just wanted to mention that. This set is going to be what we're going to be modifying the most and doing everything and assembling everything into, so I definitely recommend picking it up. It's really good, and while the half pans on these are quite thick because the plastic material they're made out of isn't the best, I did find that the Winsor Newton half pans are a little bit on the thinner side, so you can actually fit an extra extra one in each row, making this set go from only being able to hold 48 half pans to being able to hold 52, which is a really good upgrade and something we're definitely going to take advantage of. Now the first thing we're going to have to do is make quite a few modifications to our tin. We're going to go ahead and remove all of those half pans that it came with. We're not going to use them for the project, at least how I ended up doing this project. Feel free to use them or put them aside for yourself. I ended up just giving them to a friend. Now the next step we're going to do is remove this bottom tray right here. For me, I really don't like it. I think it takes up too much space on my desk and yes, I'm a barbarian and put my elbow on my desk when I paint and I keep bumping into it with my wrist. It's just not for me. If it works for you, go ahead and keep it, but I'm removing it. All I did was use a mechanical pencil. You could probably use a paper clip. Pull this pin out right here, then grab it with your hand and pull it the remaining out, and then you can remove the tin. We're actually going to reuse this later on. So all you need to do is get some magnets. I just found these little magnetic strips with a sticky side on the end. Attach it to both the top of the tray and the bottom tray that we just removed. I then used it to magnetic it into place so that it stores on the top of the tray and gave me an extra palette that I can use however I want, but then remove from my set and clean with ease. Now the next thing we're going to do is remove this tiny metal ring that's on the bottom of the tin. I personally don't need it. Again, if it works for you, keep it, but I'm only going to really be using this on a desk. I'm not really going to need the extra help holding it, so it's just more of an annoying thing for me. And all that's left now is to take out all of the colors from all of the sets we're using, and this is a process that took me about four hours of organizing and testing and making my decisions on what colors I was going to use. Yes, I did take that long and that is because I'm crazy, but I really wanted this set to be perfectly refined for me, perfectly organized, and this was a very, very long process that I did not want to film, so that's why you're not seeing it. Now, I did mention before how the Windsor Newton 24 set has all of the colors that are included with the 46 count set, so there's a lot of overlap between the two. And interestingly, the skin tone set also had quite a bit of overlap with those two sets as well. So that did kind of help with my decision making and knowing which colors I weren't going to double up on or which color I was going to use or which colors in which set I was going to use. So if you're doing what I'm doing, make sure that you use the 46 Winsor Newton set as your base and then pull from the other sets with what that set doesn't have, like for example the skin tones or for the colors that you want to double up on because you know you'll use them a lot. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, I use a lot of yellows, a lot of reds, a lot of blues, and a lot of greens, so I had to double up on those colors. And just to reiterate, even though I did mention it before, the Winsor Newton half half pans are slightly thinner and smaller than the half pans that our tin comes with, so instead of being able to fit those 48 half pans, you can actually fit 52. Going from 4 rows of 12 to 4 rows of 13, and that's just awesome. I absolutely love how we're able to get more bang for our buck. So now that we have our grid established, I think it's going to be fun to actually show you guys all the colors I chose, along with the order that I chose them in. So starting from the top, we have Lemon Yellow Hue, Combo Hue, Cadmium Pale Hue, Cadmium yellow hue, cadmium orange hue, cadmium red pale hue, cadmium red hue, cadmium red deep hue, azalea crimson hue, permanent rose, light red, rose madure hue, purple lake, 
Muvi, Muvar, Muf, I have no idea how to pronounce it, but it's this purple one right here. Deoxine Purple, Ultramarine, Cobalt Blue Hue, Cerulean Blue Hue, Turquoise, Intense Blue, Persian Blue, Indigo, Intense Green, Viridian Hue, Emerald, Hooker Green Deep, Hooker Green Light, Sap Green, Yellow Orch, Raw Umbra, Van Dyke Brown, Burnt Umbra, Sepia, seven select colors for my skin tone set. I do apologize, I can't tell you which ones as they were not labeled and I honestly kind of lost track of which ones were which. Gold, Silver, Lamp Black, Hands Gray, and Chinese White. As you probably noticed, this configuration is actually going to leave us seven blank slots for duplicates. So I decided to double up on the colors that I know I love to use, such as Lemon Yellow Hue, Cadmium Orange Hue, Cadmium Red Hue, Cerulean Blue, blue hue, emerald, sap green, and of course, black, because it's me. You know I use a lot of that as an inker. But you can use these slots for other colors that you want to use, or even put in other duplicates you like to use. The original configuration I actually had in this set before I included my metallics were two double pan grays and Chinese whites. So just keep that in mind. Plans can change and you can move things however you want. Now all that's left is to put all of our half pans into the tray, and this part is super satisfying. Just having it all organized and seeing it come together is amazing and super fun. Now, I will say one thing, you may have to bend the metal on the tray to make sure that the hat pans are nice and snug. You don't want them to fall if you tip it over. And the last thing to do as we're assembling is to put our two brushes inside of this nice little groove that's right here in the middle of the half pan set. And now it's time for the epic reveal. And we're done, and guys, I gotta say I love how this set came out. It's really cool how this is something that I made. Now, I didn't make all of the watercolors in here, I didn't make any of the watercolors in here, but I organized it and created a really fun, nice, worked, streamlined way to use watercolors for my workflow. I absolutely love how this came out. I love how it looks. It came out looking really good, and it just brings watercolor back to a fun, relaxing experience for me. Being able to have everything I need in one place having that great workflow is phenomenal. Now, I will admit, it's not the most effective way to do this, and it is a little pricey. I did spend about $108 to do all of this, but again, I didn't plan this from the start. I just kind of stumbled into this. So feel free to let me know what I could have improved on or how you would make this set yourself. What are some of the better ways I could have planned in making this and just tried not to stumble upon it next time I want to do something like this? I'd love to hear your feedback in the comment section down below, and please do stay tuned for more art and animation-based content. I love to hear you guys' feedback, and we always got some new projects brewing on the Battle Brawl production team. With that all said, I'm J Rod of Battle Brawl Productions. I draw the power of my own soul, and I'm always happy to make some amazing art or just something artsy and fun.